Hello students, welcome back to Geography class of 6th standard. In last video, we have discussed meaning of conventional symbols. Symbols that represent various features of the Earth's surface on the map. Then we have discussed types of conventional symbols in which we have already discussed first line symbols, number second point symbols and number third area symbols. And today we are going to discuss some other important conventional symbols. First important conventional symbol is metal road. Here metal road means pakka road. This road is depicted with red double lines. Next conventional symbol is unmetal road. Here unmetal road means kacha road. This road is depicted with two broken red lines. Next we have car track. Car track means a road over farmland. This kind of road used in bullock cart. We show this symbol with one red line. Next symbol we have footpath with bridge. It is a temporary path made by man to across a region. And it is shown with a single line of dots in red color with symbol of bridge. Students, here you can see symbol of stream with blue color. Here stream means a small or narrow river. Now other important conventional symbol is canal. Canal means man-made water channel. And for canal, we use this symbol with blue color. Now next important conventional symbol we have dam. Dams means a man-made structure built across a river to control the overflow of water. And for dam, we use this symbol with red color. Next important conventional symbol is well. It is shown as a blue dot on the map. Next symbol we have tube well. Tube well is much deeper than an ordinary well. The water is drawn with the help of a pump. We show tube well symbol in triangular shape with blue color. Next, another important conventional symbol is tank. Tanks are the main source of irrigation, especially in rocky region. During dry season, the water is stored and used for various purpose. We show tank symbol in square shape with blue color. Now next conventional symbol we have railway. Here railway line is shown with black color. Now another important conventional symbol is contour. Contour is imaginary line joining the place of same height above the sea level. Contour line drawn in brown color. Next symbol we have sand dunes. Sand dunes means small hills of sand. Students, sand dunes are depicted with brown dots on a map. Another important conventional symbol is town. For town, we use this kind of symbol with red color. Next important conventional symbol is temple. For temple, we use this symbol with red color. Next conventional symbol is mosque. This is depicted with red color. Another important conventional symbol is lighthouse. A lighthouse is a tower containing a powerful flashing lamp that is built near the seashore. And the lighthouse is depicted with red color. Next conventional symbol is tree. This is depicted with green color on a map. Next important symbol we have Survey tree. Here survey tree means a survey in which trees are inspected. And we show this symbol with black color. Now next symbol is fort. Fort means kila. This is depicted with red color. Next important conventional symbol is international boundary. Here international boundary means boundary between countries. And this boundary is depicted with bold dash and dots in black color. 
Next symbol we have state boundary. Here state boundary means boundary between states. And this symbol demarcated by single dash and dot line with black color on a map. Next important conventional symbol is district boundary. Here district boundary means boundary between districts. And district boundary is depicted with broken line with black color. Next important conventional symbol we have triangulated height. Here triangulated height means the height of prominent place shows by a triangle followed by a number. For example, triangle with number 200. Mostly this kind of symbol used to show height of high mountains. Next conventional symbol is benchmark. Benchmark is used to show height of any building engraved on rock and benchmark is depicted with BM with number. For example, BM 63.2. Now students, next conventional symbol is post office. Post office is depicted with capital letters PO. Same as next symbol of police station is depicted with capital letters PS. Students, come on page number 18 of your book. Now we will discuss conventional symbols. Here some important conventional colors are also used with some conventional symbols. Like number 1, brown color. Here brown color depicts land features like mountains. Number second, black color. Black color is used to show road, railways and boundaries. Number third, blue color. Blue color depicts water bodies like sea, ocean, river, etc. Number four, red color. Red color is used to show settlements like permanent settlements and temporary settlements. Number five is green color. Here green color depicts vegetation and plains. Students, here yellow color depicts plateau. But actually, we used yellow color to show cultivable land and orange color for plateau. I hope this concept is clear to you all. Students, today we have covered this topic till here. Now your homework for today is Read the topic that we did plus do exercise 8 on your book which is given on page number 20. Thank you.